What are you doing for uh, the Patrick's Day Parade here in Longford Town? Well, we're very excited this year. We have got the loan of the Dublin Pride flag and uh, we're going to be carrying that. It's 60 foot long by 20 foot wide. It's going to create a little bit of a stir going through the middle of Longford. Uh, so the gays have certainly arrived and uh, we're really excited. We've got a lot of uh, straight allies here as well helping us along. So it's going to help uh, create a great profile for the forthcoming referendum as well. Dear friends of ours, come back to us every year for the last few years since the start at Longford LGBT. Delighted to have them in our parade every year. And as always, a lovely colourful entry for them. So a big round of applause, please, for the members of LGBT. An important part of our community, and particularly in a year as we look forward to the equality referendum. So again, a big round of applause, please, for LGBT, who get the prize for the biggest flag in the parade. experience, the first time I've ever been in one. Um, to be quite honest, I felt a bit vulnerable. You know, there were a lot of people very close to us, and I suppose you get used to these things, but for a first time I felt just a wee bit out there. So Declan, how do you think today's parade went? I think it was absolutely wonderful. This is the third year that Longford LGBT have been in the Patrick's Day Parade and we were invited back to join the parade so we've always got great support from the people of Longford and the response we got as we passed the parade route today from the people was absolutely wonderful. I think it shows that for such a rural area Longford has a wonderful relationship with LGBT community and I've always given us great support. You're also of course involved in the referendum. How is the preparations for that going? Uh, we are really getting stuck into it now at the moment through Yes Equality Longford, we have the Facebook page set up and the Twitter account. And one of the ongoing projects we are doing is getting video montages of people pledging their support for it. As example, last night we got Charlie McGettigan to do a video and Eddie Valentine, one of the local publicans in town here. So we're getting great support for that and putting them out, retweeting them, drumming up support. So you're from Yes Equality Leitrim. How is that going for you at the moment? At the moment it's going very well. We're just really getting started and trying to get the engines revved up for our particular wing of it. Um, we've got a nice membership base because we also work from the LGBT Leitrim group that we set up, which is just a grassroots group. So a lot of the membership are volunteering their time, their energy into it and trying to get hold of people and talk to their friends, their family about it more. And they've been more empowered from that to talk to their friends and family. How is your uh, pre preparations for the referendum going? It's been really good. Uh, we are gathering volunteers every week and uh, we're surprised, uh, not surprised, very, very happy with the number of people who are positively uh, coming out in favour of a yes vote on the 22nd of May. And you'd be confident of a yes vote? Well, I don't know is confident a word that I would use in relation to it. What we will do is to do our best to maximise uh, the, the people here and the, get a maximum vote here in the Longford region. Um, it's about keeping the profile as uh, bright as possible because the danger with this is, of course, while the polls are giving uh, large majorities in favour, people still actually have to get out and, and vote. So uh, we'd be uh, guardian against apathy in that regard. So the, I would see the Yes Equality campaign being uh, to the forefront on that and keeping it in people's minds and getting people motivated to get out and vote. As one of the guys at the Yes Equality launch said, this referendum is giving us protection of the law more so than protection of the closet. Mm -hmm.